<laughs> What's up, guys? I just uh, intruded on Nate eating some food there. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I was. I thought you were gonna let me. Oh shit! Light. Yeah, there's lights. I thought you were gonna let me in a little later in, so I just sat here with my camera on by accident. Well, I was going to munching on some you. burger and fries. I was gonna tell you. Oops, a little earlier today. So, what's up, y'all? Let me get this banner gone. What's happening, peoples? How's everybody doing today? Uh, as you can what see, what the hell is Mike? Your dad? Huh? Maybe you got big ass lights on. You can turn them off. There go. I hope there's no be black in here. Oops. Yeah, I'm gonna make it like that today. There you go. Oh, so how's everybody doing today? I'm a little tired, but uh, <laughs> happy to be here. Happy to be here. Yeah, I actually work, Julio. Happy I did a flight. I did a flight with the Spitfire at five thirty this morning. That's not work. That's fun. <laughs> I couldn't fall back to sleep, so I was like, ah, fuck it. Went out before the sun even. Way before the. Oh wait, did I say five thirty? I meant six thirty. Yeah, five thirty. It was totally dark. You couldn't see. Yeah, I meant to say six thirty. All right, so let's do the usual and get some questions. If anybody has questions, then I'll shout out the people who are here. But, uh, if anybody has questions, now is the time. Um, but I want to shout out some of the people that are here, especially my. Um, start with the members. So we've got 10 members of the channel so far. It would be great if I could get more. Very much appreciate it. And then we can help out people like what we're going to do later today. So we got Mr. Mike SSI. Thank you, my friend, for being a member. Mr. George Watts. Mr. Eric Falver. Mr. Joe Pellegrino, who I saw in here earlier. I saw George Watts here, too. Um, the ever so popular pilot, Ryan Media. Then we got GB Linden's RC. Thank you guys for, for joining the channel. Much appreciated. Ghost RC, George Pryor, Jet Tech Don Atkins, FPV Everything from out there in um, New Mexico with all the cool EDS that he flies via FPV, which is really cool. Um, and then Dexter Tucker. Um, but cool. We are um, very appreciative and more people would like to join just click the join button there in the uh, description and um, you can become members and then you get a little bit of a backstage pass i've already posted some members only videos for people that want to see a little bit of what goes on behind the scenes i'm going to have my run cam i have a new run cam so i'll be able to do some more videos and i'll save those for the members so we can see how crazy and stupid we act behind the scenes um, and then some other cool stuff too but um it's mainly to get people a backstage pass to see what goes on behind the scenes. And then, um, yeah, sure, I know the what um, so let me go look. Were you, were you teasing me somewhere after, after Friday night when I flew over my house with my own mm -hmm. airplane? Me? Yeah. Because so shadow shadow ops was on dad's dad's RC hangers live. And mm -hmm. he's, he said in the live, he's like, yeah, Nate was bombing his house. And I'm like, oh, God, don't say that. I said buzzing. <laughs> he said he was bombing his house. I'm like, don't, don't say that. Because now people will be like, you weren't actually doing that, right? Oh, and God, of course not. <laughs> no, it wasn't bombing. It was, he was buzzing. I was above 1,000 feet AGL the whole time, people. Don't John worry. T., I know. I know John T. I canceled it because I wanted it to be one level instead of multiple. So you can just join back. It's not that hard. Just join back, and it's less money. Click the fucking button. Click it to join. So um, I need to go back and see. Yeah, no, that was cool. I saw your mom posted the video of you flying over. I'm like, oh, he's flying over the house. Oh, sweet. I oh, crash. It, it's, like a, it's like a two second flight from the airport to the house. I know. I took off. I'm like, oh, I'm already there. All right. So I need to check for questions because I see. Um, and yes, Joe Pellegrino, I'll talk about that in a little bit. I want to get the questions out of the way first, then we'll get to the other stuff. Um, anybody, I, I just thought it was funny. I'm like, oh god, and if you, you weren't actually bumming the health, way. <laughs> Shadow, Shadow, this is funny. This is, we'll check out what Shadow said. <laughs> he's a food in his mouth, he's less, he's less loud. <laughs> what? 
Well, it's true. I always tend to be pretty loud with food in my mouth, too. I eat all uh, John VHRC, what's up? How you doing, buddy? Flyjet's 305. Does that 305 mean you're somewhere from the uh, Florida area? Um, let's see who else did I miss. Uh, David Hawker, I hope you're doing okay out there in Texas. Yeah. Um, uh, Michael Bear, what's up? John T, oh, we already talked. Just click my join button again, but that's all you got to do. Um, Nathaniel Pulling, Pilot Jerry RC, uh, the Air RC Air Marshal's here, Boss 223. Few people, we got like 32 people showing up now, which is really cool. And I just got a PayPal donation from someone, I think that was the Fred Baron. Thank you very much, my friend. Um, let's see, so let's see. I'm trying to find any questions. If you guys post them in there so we can see, don't worry, we didn't. we'll make room for you to put that in a little bit. Um, Hello, everyone. So I'm scanning through the chat. Get some more sleep. What? Uh, John T, get some more sleep. Uh. Don't get any more burps. Um, thanks for coming in, uh, FlyJets305. Um, Sorry, dude. I just ate a freaking fat burger and some fries, dude. <clears throat> Um, how do, uh, do I need to order booties? But do I need to? Of course you need to, uh, fly jets, but what, um, which plane? Charlie Marcioni, you got your stuff. I know you did. So, um, you got everything working right. I hope. Um, yeah, Angela, those are good packs. Ricky has those, I think. Those ones. Yeah, he does. I think. Those are good. Um, I almost ordered a few, but I, I ended up ordering some more HRBs. Look at that for right. So. <laughs> Guys, I don't care if you cuss in the chat. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, oh, he wants to know if he can get booties for the arrows, which obviously we know. Um, no, and I'll tell you why. The arrows has a an outrunner, and it's a pretty big outrunner. And in order to fit a burner around it, that would mean that you have to obstruct some of the thrust, and I refuse to do that. So, no. But... I will tell you this, I have one on order, it's on the way, and I have planned to fly it a couple times with the stock set up, I'll fly like one day with stock set up, see how it goes, get used to it, but I have an in-runner set up, and with in-runners, you can um, put uh, fiery booties on those, and they won't <laughs> obstruct thrust, and they will look wonderful, so yes, and uh, David Hawker, another reason for uh, that I, twin burners, um, we all know that. on single bifurcated exhaust suck thrust, so they don't work out that well. I don't care what people try to tell you that, oh, they're not going to, but yes, they do pretty badly. Um, they take away enough to notice in vertical climbs. So, and you, An can, hear it, you can hear it. Angelo, a battery is a battery. If you go on Amazon, you look at the battery description, it literally will like tell you, it'll just tell you it's for both. It's a battery. Yeah, it's the hard case though. They have hard case and then others. Oh, if you, if you got the hard case ones, I mean, it's not gonna hurt anything. No, but they're heavy. That's the only issue. Sokokin is that the stuff that Ricky got? Sokokin. Yeah, it, it, yeah. No. One of those goo goo brands. Um, so yeah, so twin burners. No, I don't do them. Um, only you know, main reason why is because they obstruct thrust, and I don't want to hurt thrust. Um, but so uh, David Hawker with the with the refail, you have to make a little bit of a, a divot in the bifurcation for that um, LED array to fit. But that LED array is crazy bright. It will light up that whole rear end of the plane. So Hemorrhoids. So you just have to make a little notch in there. Um, Mr. JS, you should have gifts waiting for you on your porch. Hopefully you got them. Um, but yeah, the refail, there is room. Was it cheap to ship the Gryphon with my mom's label? Uh, yeah, very. <laughs> it wasn't quite overnight, but it, it did work. Um, so, yeah, there's not a whole lot of room, but you just make a little notch, and it's fine. You got him. So, so, cool. Very good. Uh, did you get the... hope everything's in good shape, because I, I packed it pretty well. 
and then I had to send things in two boxes. Cool. All right. Awesome. So, um, let's see. Anything else? And then I want to get to something else. Flight lights good. Not that yet. This is mainly <laughs> EDS. This is mainly EDS. Dude, that thing is insane. Just, it just flies so good. I don't understand. So, uh, Nate, I don't know if you know about April seventeenth. There's a, an event that we need to go. Th I'm going to. The, yeah, the hotel. Yeah, we're gonna go. Um, I may no, go. Uh, <laughs> David Hawker it won't obstruct it. It, it. That's just fine. The um, the stuff that I have is aerodynamic, so whatever it's gonna get. All that bifurcation does is split. So if anything, it might help it a little bit because there's no splitting going on. It's just going straight down. It might help just a tad. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'll, I, I don't know if I'll go. It'll, it's quite a drive to Oakdale from here, so. Yeah, I'm I'm for sure going. I already have it planned. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, Flyjets 305. That's probably one of my most popular. Um, the F-16 and all the other FMS planes. Kenny, the uh, F-16 and all the other 28 millimeter F FMS planes. I sell that more than anything, especially for the F-16. Um, if F-16, F-18, Viper Jet, Yak, all those. Uh, um, so yeah, if you want to get a hold of me, um, I'm going to type it in this. I'm going to type it in the uh, in the chat. That's my email. Send me an email there. Um, I'm gonna put up my website too, so you can see. Um, you can. Yeah, Andy Joe, I, I know. That's my website, Gooniac33.me. Type that in, and you can get to me. And there's a form, but the easiest way is just to, to email me. Um, yeah, David Harker, I think I thought I sent you the burner for that plane. I, I know, I think I did. So, just um, make that little slice. And it'll, yeah. if anything, it's probably going to clean up the airflow a little bit more because it keeps it from having to hit that thing. It just goes straight now instead of having to hit that thing in the way. So it might actually work out better. Pete, not much. Um, it doesn't take much. It's it's a, it's an easy plane to fly. The only thing, that, the only thing that's just any bit tricky is just landing it in the yeah, center. Always, always. It, you know, it's not it's not the actual touchdown. The hardest part about it is you have to plan ahead right after it touches down what you're going to do. And if you get it right, you get it. You can get it slow enough where you can land it on the mains, and then you'll you'll be going slow enough where you can just pin the tail, and it'll be fine. Um, but the wing, the bottom of the wings are plastic, which everybody you're going to hit the wing. I've hit the wing multiple times. It's, it doesn't hurt anything because it's plastic, but it flies amazing. Um, and it doesn't need a lot of throw. I was surprised. Like the P fifty one and the Falk Wolf, my throws are pretty high up there. My Spitfire, they're like. <clears throat> I think well, these the servos on the Spitfire. Oh, hey, uh, JS, I will copy my. I'll take. I'll send you the settings because that'll be trimming everything for the uh, for the Gripen. And all you have to do is plug it in, bind it, and that's good. It's good. It'll be good to go. Um, I'll send it to you. I'll have to, co I'll have to copy it to my copy it from my radio, and then I'll email it to you. And then you just have to plug that in, put it into your radio. Everything will be set. It's already set to fly. It'll fly better than you my settings. I think my settings and your settings are almost the same, fool. No, mine are different because when I put the gyro in, I had to up the probe a little bit. So then, why would I do that for him? Because he doesn't have a gyro. It's just gonna mess it up. No. Put a gyro in that thing, man. It flies so much better with the gyros. Spend the twenty bucks, put an A3L in there, and you're gonna love it so much more. He got he got a ten channel radio, a ten channel receiver. Yeah, and mine takes up all my nine channels on my radio. So, all right, so let's get to the second part of the show, which was we're kind of carrying on from what we had going on with uh, the RC Air Marshal. Oh yeah, I, I have. Who's this? Like I, I I I'm I was busy during. Okay, um, so then let's uh. I'll move it more like that. Let's get this um, set up. I'm not up to speed. I, I don't know what's going on. Um, 
Yeah. That's why I'm going to post it right there. I've got this thing scrolling in the bottom. Um, RC Air Marshal was talking on his show. He's We've got a fellow RC enthusiast down in South America. Guyana is what I think it's called. And um, it costs insane amounts of money for him to get anything hobby related because there's no RC shops down there. Everything has to be flown in or shipped in from the, from the states or somewhere else. Yes, feet. So he is um, RC Air Marshals put together a uh, Draco fund for Mr. Lyndon Stewart. And what I'd like to do is to see how many people from my ch to my channel can uh, donate to me. And let's see. So you all you do is you send it to me. Um, through my paypal link and the link is in the description as well if you guys want to look take a look at the description there's a paypal link there um you can what i'd like to do dave i see that i want to direct it to me so then we can quantify how much i actually gave over to you and then it'll be friends and family so then i want to see if we can how much we can get and then that'll be my elementary. this is from yeah. the guniac people yeah Pete, that's I at all possible and then whatever we get from there it's all going to go over to you yeah, I just Pete. like to, to see how many people can uh, can help out on my end. Yeah, Alan Gentry already started. Um, yeah, Pete, I use flaps, not too much, um, and it does need a little bit of an up elevator mix, which is unusual for a plane like that. But I think I have five percent for my half flap and then ten. It it doesn't. It, it's a pretty easy plane to land. It'll it'll land really good without them. But the thing I like about putting the flaps in is it actually kind of gets the tail up more. The plane lands a lot better doing a wheel landing. Kind of the, the best way to land it is tail low wheelie. So like not a three point, but not like a driving, you know, wheel. Because if you drive it and you leave the tail up too long, that thing's going to wander away from you. So like a tail low wheelie, so you're not three pointing it, but then you land and within half a second, you can pin the tail and it's not going to pop off the ground again. It's it's easy to land. And the suspension is very springy and it's got soft tires. So if you if you hit it a little harder, it's not going to be a fall open a P-51 and shoot back in the air. Yeah, but it's like you said, though, the key, too, is to have the tail down just a little bit. Otherwise, it's going to be kind of weird. Well, if you're on a rock ground, too, throw yeah. those over. Yeah. And... The torque effect on it is pretty insane too. It's a big prop, four blades. Yeah, the P fifty. It's not as bad as the P fifty one, but the torque effect on the FW is like almost nothing. Um, it takes right rudder on takeoff, obviously, and then if you go into a vertical climb, the more you pitch up, the more rudder it needs, or else it'll fall off to the left. That's the way it is with most prop planes, but especially with the four blade. <laughs> yeah, you'll like it, Pete, and you know how to fly, so. Yep, as long as you're good on your rudder, especially with those warbirds like that, you're going to do it. Tail dragger, just a tail dragger in general. Yep. So, especially when y'all get that Draco, you're going to need to use the rudder. I think land slow, there's no reason to. Yeah. I'm so get that dude. Let's see. Um, so, uh, as I don't know if you guys can see, but I had to remove this thing from its box to um, get stuff shipped to John Shaw, JS. He bought my uh, Gripen from me. So I had to take everything out of that box. This is my next project. I make 29 and uh, uh, fit everything in that box for him and i think it all actually worked out really well the tail ended up coming off so i was able to fit basically everything fit in that box with no extra things needed to be added to it so i forgot to put the nose in um so i had another box that needed to go out um, <laughs> I, had a, I had a burner to go to so i just sent two things and i sent them at two different times and they both got there at the same time which is kind of fun oops so yeah oh <laughs> the people that said the people at your house were like you bought another mig <laughs> well the Did box you, have, you had a mig js and you sold it so uh how was was the box in decent condition when you got it no nah, it was destroyed dude 
No, I'm just curious because it was supposed to be there in a day and it took like five. Really? Three or four. That's weird. That's so funny. It took it four days to get to halfway across California, but it took 24 hours to get my T33 to Foam Boy. Yeah, I, I don't understand. I that. think I they it don't. Might, they might have been because I waited, so it was later in the day when I sent it. Or it probably went on the ground because obviously when it went to Foam Boy, it hopped on a plane. Yeah. And it said next day air, so if there's no damage on the outside, it should be pretty good, JS, because there, there's a lot of room. Oh, dude, if you packed it in a, in a good box, like the way me and Mike packed Foam Boys T33, we had like parts of cardboard, like hot glue. It, 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 it was basically exactly the same as the MIG box. I had to cut some stuff out, and then I insulated everything with foam, so it should be fine. Me and Mike just wrapped the T33 in bubble wrap. We had like a box, like a huge box of bubble wrap. Dude, these, dude, these freaking things are huge. What are you talking about? Um, we got new toilets for the house. TMI, TMI. No, we got. Um, no, I had, I had a lot like of packing peanuts. So I used a whole bunch of those. I used plastic bags to wrap them up. So, yeah. We had to get new toilets for this house, dude. I don't know what it was. The people that lived here before, they must have been small, dude. <laughs> They're tiny. I'm like... <laughs> or they're just old. Who knows? Hey, Shadow, I already gave... Um, I already put in some of my own from um, earlier today. So I'm always down to help out my uh, my fellow RC... RC people in other countries that want to fly they have a hard time getting it done. So I'm all about that. So there's two ways you can do it. I'd like to put together a certain amount through um, my PayPal and then give that huge lump sum over to ah. Dave Marshall. Um, help a brother out. Help some people, help out my fellow RC pilots over there alan gentry thank you my friend very much appreciated for the super chat um but yeah so i'm going to uh, whatever is given will go directly over to him so um people have a wrench by their name because they are considered moderators and since you are a fellow oh john shaw saw the peanuts since you are a fellow RC pilot, Flyjets 305, you've got one now too. Uh, let's see, Justin Ward, where are you? Um, I would give some money, but I have none of that, so. So those of you that didn't have wrenches now have wrenches. Thanks to my, uh, thanks to my son putting together this computer. Now I can do stuff like normal people instead of having to wait or you sitting here looking at me jitter and shake and get frozen in strange directions. But my son built me this computer. It works wonderful. Holy crap. That was awesome. Yeah, guys, so ch take a look at what's streaming down there. How about um, Lyndon Stewart? He's, he lives in a place where it's hard to get Hard to get RC stuff easily. I was complaining last night about trying to put together some batteries, and I ordered some cheapy EC5 connectors that are total crap. <coughs> so I just threw them away. I didn't even bother. I just threw them away. They're total crap. I'm gonna order some some better ones. Garbage. Gonna order. Yeah, I gotta re. I gotta rebuild the left wing tip of the ugly stick wing, which is fine. You know, I don't mind that because the covering is getting crappy anyway, and I kind of want to have some experience with fixing up some. For which one? For what? The that remember that old stick? Oh yeah, the red one. I had, I had the wing like standing up um, on the edge of the garage, and the wind blew it over and cracked it, like busted up the wing tip. Which, of course, I didn't care. The thing's old, but um, I'll fix it eventually. Eventually, I say that, but it probably won't ever happen. David Martin Graf, how in the heck? was the f-18 nose heavy with a 3300 it should have been quite the opposite 
What kind of fucking cocaine did you take before that flight, buddy? <laughs> I fly by with the six thousand almost all the way forward. Uh, I mean, te- I mean, you do have the bigger motor, but still, it didn't matter. If I flew it with that. My, that motor. was the same with mine. I I flew a six thousand. Basically, with my F8, my E flight F15, when I had it, I would stick my finger all the way at the front, and I put the six thousand to the back of my finger, and that's where I flew it. Yep, that's what I do. Mine's a little bit further back. What did you have to um, well, no, because I have a receiver up there. And it looks like we have a donation to the fund. So thank you, Mr. Gary Gary S. Very much appreciate it. That will be added to the fund. And Kenny, I got your email. I'll take care of you. I need a haircut, dude. Hopefully this guy's good, this new barber we got. Huh? I said, I need to shave. This, my dad went to this new guy we got in Hollister. I guess he's pretty good, so he's cutting my hair on Wednesday. Cool. Go. Go. <clears throat> Fuck. See you, boss. Two, two, three. Keep the blue side up. I keep the blue side up for flying full scale. I mean, I. Andy Cho. I just got another donation from Mr. Andy Cho. Thank you, my friend. Keep on adding it up, y'all. And, uh, whatever, whatever we get. Yeah, what's people, the goal? What's, what's the goal? Whatever he comes up with. I don't. Uh, uh, RC Air Marshal, if you're in here, let us know how much more we have to go. But I'd prefer that we just let it go, and as much as we can get, send it out. Um, okay. So, well, if it worked, if it flew, that's all that matters. That is a big plane though that's a big motor 3300 i didn't fly my uh arrows twin on the third i flew it on a 3300 and i couldn't hardly keep it going for long but um i fly mine with a an hrb 6000 um and uh i love it I they, insist on, I, they, uh, they insist on keeping everything in my fridge garage your fridge garage there's a freaking, there's a, they, there's a wine fridge in the kitchen and there's a whole another fridge, but they keep everything in this fridge. So shadow, there's a new arrows bird. Is that the, is that the little trainer? Yeah, thing? that te- technon, whatever. The trainer thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you flew for three minutes. Oh, that's not bad. Nineteen percent left. That's I'm pretty. Three hundred. Battery's gonna be. A, battery might be a little warm. But, How hard, what were you flying like though? You weren't. There's no way you're flying hard. If you would have flown hard for for three minutes, that thing would have been dead. Yeah. Because on the on the stock two thousand, after about three minutes on a six thousand hard flying, that battery is almost done. You must have been flying easy. I, mean, I was able to get almost five minutes on mine. <sighs> I'd always go past my three minute timer. As it is now, I go I go for about four minutes on the six thousand. You know what's fun? I'm always gonna like jets more, but I'll tell you one thing: flying a warbird, being able to fly for seven minutes, but then not having to worry about landing after that seven minutes and still having plenty of remaining time, it's kind of nice. What's up, Sean Gall? Especially for. Uh, Flying out here because that street doesn't get much traffic, but sometimes, you know, you get people walking by. So it's kind of nice. Like when I'm flying a jet, it's like, I, assume, I always, like if I hear somebody coming, I just, even if I have a minute left, I land because it's like, that's, I, that's all I need is just get stuck. But, um, sweet. Thank you, Dana Johnson. Very much appreciated. We're getting, we're getting some stuff, y'all. I just posted the total amount up there. That uh, oh, he's getting the whole bundle. Okay. Yeah, I just posted up there what uh, RCR Marshall said. Twelve hundred dollars. So keep it coming, y'all. Um, I gotten a couple already. I'll shout you out when you when you say when you send something, guys. Buck thirty more. So so far it's been um, or buck sixty. My bad. The Fred Baron has given something. Then we've got oh now Mr. John Shaw. Wow, Mr. John Shaw just came through big time. Thank you, my friend. Um, Gary, Gary, Gary S. Uh, so we've gotten 
We're getting a How good much amount. How money have you received so far? We're getting a good amount, y'all. Keep on, keep it coming. Keep it coming, y'all. Keep it coming. And everything that I get, everything I get tonight goes directly over to um, RC Air Marshall, and it will just be from Laguniac community, from you guys on the show here. And then we can say that it came from us. The Guniac community. Community. The Guniac goofballs. The F community. The Guniac goofballs. EDF <laughs> ding dongs. I've been a warbird ding dong. Uh, speaking of warbirds, like I said, I've been telling you, I plan on getting the uh, the FMS fifteen hundred P forty seven. That's on my list. Why? Why? Because very few people have it. I haven't seen it fly. The damn anywhere. paint scheme is like somebody painted it silver and then took a dump on it, dude. So what? I can repaint it. It's a good base coat. If you like it, though, if you get it, you really like it. I'll get it because I can. I've, have I've seen it fly. I've seen Brandon fly. His he got it when it first came out. Yeah, I was messaging Brandon. He's like, "Yeah, it's great, but the foam was just really soft." Which I, I think that they may have changed that. I know, bro. But I bet you it still got the old bullet connectors in the wings. It it had that. I remember. So did the. Uh, oh, 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 I'm getting I'm getting notices. Let's see if we got how much have you how much have you racked up so I'm far? We need to not gonna stay until we get to a good number. Hold on. This, uh, John Shaw just gave it a pretty a pretty good amount. And so did Mr. Eric T. Rogers. Sheesh, just between the two of them. That's a good amount of money right there. Hell yeah, my peoples. We do it. Once good. it gets once you receive more than a buck sixty, that's how much it that's how much oh, they need. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do some addition right now. So this so we got carry the one, carry the three, put in reverse, Terry. We're gonna do uh, yeah, we're doing okay. Ray, you need the calculator? Yeah, I do. No, I'm doing it in my head. I'm, I'm good. This just put it this way the last just between the last two donations, it's a hundred bucks. <laughs> you go, guys. Okay. Just remember, guys, make it friends and family, because then I don't pay fees and it'll go directly to him. Um, so that's hard. So. Oh wait, it's twelve bundle, but the shipping cost is probably. Yeah, no, that's why I'm saying we need to come up with as much as we can. So far, you people have come through with quite a bit of money, so I may as well give a number because it's already pretty high. Y'all came up with 175 bucks. Okay. Just like that. They've, they've made the plane. The plane, so the been plane made. alone, we can do that. But now Go it's ahead. like the ravages of shipping to South America. So, y'all, we can still keep going. That doesn't mean you stop there. Keep on going. Hey, I wonder if my mom would be cheap to ship to South America. $10. Maybe. Maybe we I don't shall see. I don't think my mom's already really busy with these couple bit of clients that are like, that are just they're they're really like rich SOBs and they always like up her ass trying to get them to help trying to get her to help them. Oh. <sighs> um. Yeah, she she basically like works with Bank of America, Bank of America, John yeah. Shaw. It's like what she does. Yeah, he probably sees it on the label. But y'all, uh, so we've already got enough to cover the plane, but we, we could still use more. So if there's any more people there that are willing to help. And again, all this is going directly to them. So um, let's just keep, oh, on, keep on keeping on trying to help. I shouldn't say this, but I feel like an old man. But I know I'm going to get hell for saying that. Yeah, don't, don't, don't say it. Just don't, just don't say it. No, in the sense of like all the old people are like, mate. Stop it! Yeah. No. You unappreciated piece of shit. Nah. Nah. I kind of scratched the yellow paint on one of my prop blades, but luckily they gave you a spare blade in the kit. Oh. I was being an idiot, and um, I was showing one of the neighbors, like, one of the neighbors, like, how much details it have? And I freaking put stood it up on its nose, and one of the prop blades hit the ground and took some of the paint off. But luckily, I. Mafia. What's up, C Mafia? They give you one of these in the in the uh, yeah the kit. Cool. You know? cool. 
So I'm popping the spinner off. Dude, this thing is so nice. Uh, dude. Stop drinking that soda stuff. Dude, it's Coke Zero Cherry, dude. Nasty. Coke Zero, Zero Cherry. Coke, Coke Zero Cherry hits different, dude. Nasty. Nasty. Scrappy Delivery Express. Yeah, we don't want it going on one of those drug runner planes down there. So come on, y'all. Let's keep going. We got 175 total. Be great. Be awesome if we could double that. That would be even better. The way this prop is set up with this crossbar and then the back of the spinner is threaded. Yeah, that, the bar in the front is cool because it gives you that little extra. Yeah, Instead this of just dude. being through, that little bit over the blades. I love the spinner too because it's got the little open thing, and but then it also has this little PC you put in the nose. Yeah. It's a cool so guys, this, this is all of us just putting things together to help out a friend. He didn't ask for any of it, as Mr. Paul McNeil just said. This is just us trying to help out a friend because we know how impossible it is to get stuff out there. So let us just do what we can to help out a fellow. And C Mafia already donated. Thank you, my friend. Uh, but let's do uh all right. we can let's do what we can to help. I'm telling and then I can put together the amount and say, hey, this is what we what we were able to grab through my show and give to uh to Lyndon. That would be awesome. And I'm all about giving. I like giving stuff to people. I donated my own amount. Um actually if you put mine in, I, I donated 75 of my own. So that puts us over 200. But I prefer to uh have a little mo. For my fellow peoples here to kit help with the RC. I, you know, I had a bunch of money that I got from family for Easter. I wish I wouldn't have wasted it on more batteries because I I had almost I had over two hundred dollars. I could I would have donated it all. What'd you get? I, HRV or smart packs? HRV. Good, good man. No, I'm not buying smart packs again. The only reason I bought those five thousand just for the P fifty one. Um. I'm not buying those things again. No way in hell I'm paying that much money. I'd, if I'm going to pay that much money, I'd rather get SMC packs. Yeah. Those 7700s that Frank had were pretty insane. Yeah, they were. I have to. I think he put that. Yeah, in. He flew his F18. F <laughs> He's flying the baby feet on those things. I can't believe it. Crazy Frank. Yeah. So as far as stuff I've got coming, I have a uh, an Arrows RC F15 coming, like I said earlier. Um, I also have, um, thanks to my friend Ricky Thrower, I forgot I had some extra fans. Um, I was able to get some stuff together to put for my um, for my uh, upcoming 70 millimeter F104. Um, again, thanks to Ricky Thrower for helping out with some some extra fans, able to. Uh, Pick, pick apart some stuff to make work. Mr. Joe Pellegrino just came through for us, too. Thank you, my friend. Hey, HRB and Z are the good ones. Fly. Very cool. Thank you, um, Joe Pellegrino. Man, I got to take all these bolts out. That's, that's, that's lame. But okay, that's fine. So here, I'm just going to... Everything he... Uh, the, RC Air Marshal post in reference to it. I'm going to put up there. So he was on, I guess Lyndon was on the Zoom and um, told us that the exchange rate. So, you know, see, this is just what we do here in the RC community. We try to help each other out. And if yep. it's going to be a pain in the ass to, to do something for one of our fellow pilots, we, uh, we help them out. So, I mean, there's a, you know, it's the same thing with the Petrinchic brothers out there in Slovenia. They can't always get stuff. So we help them out. We send stuff out there. So this is the same sort of deal. This is an RC Air Marshal thing, though. I'm just trying to dovetail on, you know, I'm just trying to add more to it. This is all his doing. So I'm trying to add a little bit more to it and try to help help with the, the uh, Draco goodness. And, yes, there's nothing wrong with doing nice things for nice people. 
people that are not so nice just don't get mentioned. Fanboy alert. Mm, I wasn't. I just said I didn't even say fanboy. I just said people that aren't worth mentioning just don't get mentioned. <laughs> don't even say nothing about them. You know who I'm talking about. Oh, I know. Don't say none. So I posted some uh, videos that I forgot that I had that my wife had done from a couple years back on my. Um, so if you look at this screen here, see that plane? Um, I have a, my wife did a video of my maiden flight on that plane. I posted it this weekend. Forgot how cool it was. It's from back oh, you posted a video? Yeah. I mean, it was all, it was on my page. Um, uh, I thought you posted a YouTube video. Flyjets, um, I, let's see what RC Air Marshal says, but whatever donations I get in reference to that will just go directly to RC Air Marshal. So if they keep coming in, I'll just send them directly to him. Just remember, um, if you, when you send it to me to send it as friends and family and in the notes, say Draco fund, um, so let's see. So we were at 175. We just got another from Mr. Joe Pellegrino. So let's see. So we are now at 225. 225. Thanks to Mr. Joe Pellegrino's recent donation. Oh, Master Beekeeper, that's cool. All right, so I, well, like I said, as stuff comes up, I'm just going to post it up there so you can see. I like these little knock, lock, lock washers they use. They're like the little kind that like dent into the metal so they like stay. So, Devita 08, I just printed out your postage. So, I will have your stuff sent this week. Um, I have a crap ton. Oh, I should get the stack. I have a stack. That's why I gave myself that time um, so that I could get it out there. Um, but you don't worry. I got you. I got you. It's coming. I just printed out postage a couple days ago. Got the box made up. Going to uh, input all the information. Then get it all sent on out. So... And then next week I'll do another big mass shipment too. And then we'll just keep on going. So I had, and I don't know if I've told you guys this, but I had kind of freaked me out because <laughs> I had things that were based on, um, basically I'd planned, I planned ahead and I ordered stuff. The parts showed up. Pretty much every one I plugged in was blowing up in my hand. Probably. They're all blowing up in my hand, and I test everything before I send it. So, oop, 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 oop. wait a minute, wait a minute. We just got another edition. Let's see what it is. We've got money. Cool. So let's add. So what is it? Now we're up to two forty-five. Let's keep on going, y'all. Keep on going. So um, basically everything I was testing out of this batch that I ordered, they're all literally blowing up in my hand. I smelled like burnt ESC for like three days. Um, so it ended up setting me back. So that's part of the reason why I ended up making my delays as long as they were because um, I wanted to make sure that I got all the right stuff. I have all the right stuff. I have excess of the right stuff now. Um, USPS is no longer delayed. Everything's getting there crazy fast now. So um, there won't be as long of a delay. I'm still going to leave it up there saying six to eight weeks just in case something goes wrong. But chances are it's going to be there in less than two. So any orders from here on out will go out pretty quickly. After hey, the next, so and so ships in two days. What? Hey, so and so ships in two days. That's because they blow out the rear of the plane and don't stay connected. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Okay, I got a fresh prop laid on there. Hopefully I won't scratch it again. Don't. So um so yeah, so who was that? Nevada? When you put the props on, there's like a little tiny thing that like sticks up 
to like that goes through a little hole in the prop mm-hmm. kind of broke off but it's no big deal just make sure that blade doesn't flip around well this isn't what held it in it was just kind of there the bolts were doing all the work yeah. that was that was there it went into the props that when you put it on it was a tight fit so you didn't have to like have five hands to do it it's not important watch i'm gonna say that then it's gonna blow up next time i play all right so let's see i just got another bling here in the phone no, no, it wasn't a bad yeah. 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 so guys we're at 245 245 would be great if we could we could double that it would be even more it would be even cooler y'all need one of these I've had Spitfires. That's the problem. I said y'all, not you, Ray. We all know you. Well, y'all could include me too. So, bleh. I well, we've already determined that you didn't want one of these because no. The next thing about it, you're like, eh, I've had no. Spitfires. Eh. No, I don't want a BF one hundred and nine. I don't want a Spitfire. You know what I was looking at today was that Yak eleven. That exactly. would be cool. That would be cool. Who brought you back onto that plane, Ray? Right? You could get it. I've seen it for years. Um, I forget who's. Uh, Banana Hobby used to sell them, but um, I yeah, would. Bang Daddy now. Bang Good has them now, and they have the kit. They don't have the ARF, but they have the kit. And the only thing you need is servos, ESC, and I think a motor. The motor is easy. You could just get the, the E Flight motor and put in there. Dude, just put, just put this shit in there. The forty-two fifty-eight. That's what I have. <laughs> the four sixty-eight. I, I have one. Where is it? I think I have it right here next to me. I've got one. So if the plane itself with nothing and the P fifty one motor, the plane with nothing is two hundred and thirty bucks. Dude, you know what I was surprised with? The Spitfire is quick, dude. It's faster than the Falcon. Mm, nah, quick is relative. So no, Mickey it, B, what's up, Mickey it's B? It's not C? slow. No, I know it's not slow. Um, I flew formation with Frank with with his when we were at Oakdale. Uh, you know. It's like the Falk Wolf. The top end speed isn't like insane, but it's got really good um, thrust. It looks scale, and it looks like it's moving. Yeah. No, it, it's quick. It's not Mustang fast, but it's faster than the FW. Like I flew the FW again, and I'm like, oh man, this thing is slow. The uh, the the Mustang actually is almost too fast. Great Scott, what's happening? No, it's not because the real Mustang screams too. Yeah, yeah. Shadow Ops, thanks for coming by, my friend. Yeah. See you, Shadow. You have to fly in a real Mustang to understand that how fast that thing is. You can you can exceed two hundred and fifty knots. Oh, right? easy, easy. Not uh, too we, long after takeoff. We definitely didn't do that on my on my Mustang ride. Um, you know it's funny. I was uh, tracking the uh, C one hundred and thirty as it came over my house because they do those every now and then they'll do those crazy fast runs right over the house at night like as fast as you can you can tell they're moving so i'm like hmm let's see if he's under 250. <laughs> no he's yeah. military dude military. They, have- you can do, you can do, they can do what they want but still i just wanted to see how fast they're actually doing and it's yeah yeah Rick, you know your opening cockpit and your whatever 290 290 knots like that's fast heck? You should. I, I think they take a video. I don't, I don't know if I sent it to you. I took a video. That's but it was moving. It was moving. That's like 310, 315 miles an hour. It was moving. And the sound it made when it went over was pretty cool. But they're military, they can do what they want. Um, so yeah, guys, we're up to 245. So yeah, again, they- I, I'm just adding to what RC Air Marshal's already done. So this is RC Air Marshal's gig. I just want to add some extra money on top of it. So. Hey, Keith, Keith Christie, we, uh, you know what? Probably should, nah, nah, whatever, no. Yeah, John Graham, they can do whatever they want. They can do whatever they want. And Keith Christie, 437 is top speed at altitude. So they actually do. Now, what's the little one? That little one, the, uh, Long Thunder, Mus- the Thunder Mustang is actually faster at low altitudes. Than yeah. the, uh, Especially the ones that they put a turbine in. Are you crazy? No, 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 not that one. I'm talking about the ones of the Falconer V8s. Oh. Those things are fast at low level. Want to be Mustangs? Pretty much. They sound goofy too, but they're still pretty cool. <laughs> they scream like, <laughs> they sound like V6s. But they scream. They move pretty quick. Yeah, Keith Christie, I think 275. I think we did a low pass, and I think we were doing 340 knots, I think is what we were doing. Nothing happened. 
We're we're at, a not, we're at an uncontrolled airport in the middle of nowhere. Nobody needs to know anything. That was fun though, bro. We were going that fast. We were like maybe ten feet off the runway. Everything was in bar. Straight up, did a roll, dude. It was fun. I haven't flown a P fifty one in what was it now? Five years now. What sucks is we don't get the Collins Foundation here anymore. Um. I hope they. I hope they eventually make it back, but they're not flying people anymore, are they? Mm, not right now. As far um, as I know, well, you, I, th I think that they're permanent. I'm gonna go. Anyway. I'm gonna go fly. I'm yep. gonna go. Well, I make that two fifty. So now we're at two hundred and fifty total. Yeah. Thank you, Mister Lefkowitz. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Since I'm off all week, I'm gonna go try to fly the one seventy two solo on Wednesday. Um. Because guy named Sally always flies his Mustang on uh, Wednesdays. Cool. Want to go catch him, Ricky Thrower? What's happening, See you, Ricky. brother Ricky? I gave you a shout out earlier because um, you helped me out with my F one hundred four build. Now I don't have to wait for my parts because I got all my stuff from you, so I can just make it happen. Brother Ricky, but um, yeah, P fifty one's an insane plane. To think about. I love I love watching Sal fly his like this guy Sal he, this is the guy I've been talking to you about he's like loaded with money he has he has the P fifty one a citation a citation one an L thirty nine and I think he just bought a Mig of some sort like a Mig fighter so and like he's loaded and then he's getting a huge hangar built on the field and he was flying his P fifty one right he has the Grim Reaper Mustang so he says on he. He was just he was messing around. He was he there's always like a bunch of guys on the ground. He's like, Hey, you know, how's my hanger looking, guys? Like he's just you know, he's a smart ass. He's a really nice guy, but he'll be a he'll be a smart ass at times, right? So he wanted to see how the roof was looking on his new hanger. And he's flying his Mustang, he's up in the air. So guess what he does? Flips it inverted. No, he buzzes the hanger right like that far off the hanger. Boom, right over the ramp of the airport. That was so What's cool. Up, Pilot Ryan? How are you doing, Mr. Pilot Ryan? so fun from what i hear from world war ii the fastest airplane of world war ii was the p-47 it could get close to supersonic speeds in a dive um, the supermarine spitfire was known for blowing up props when it was getting too fast they had a problem with the spit too when it would roll inverted for too long and kill the engine they had that was what that's when they came up with inverted fuel pumps that was the early one same thing with the with the uh with the or early not. spitfire and the, the, the one one. no not the hawker the yeah the hurricane, uh, the hurricane. The hurricane. yeah the hurricane hurricane it would um that was its fatal flaw that was a big movie about oh, the fatal flaw um, so this so far Gooniac. Guniac's people have come up with 250 to give to Mr. RC Air Marshal for Lyndon Stewart. And if you guys want to give directly to him, that's cool too. I'd just like to be able to give a, an amount and say, hey, this was done on my show at this time for the cause, for our good friend. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. The Sea Fury is a fast plane, Kenny. Very fast. Yeah, um, this this Sal guy he's cool too because when he just flies randomly, whenever he'll take off, he'll take off and he'll make like a two seventy. He'll climb up, he'll go further out, and then he'll come straight at us when we're sitting on the ramp. He'll get he'll get like maybe fifteen feet off and he'll pull up and do a really slow roll. Nice. So, um, Hangar Fifty One, yes, the. Uh... Sea Fury was a fast plane. It didn't really do much in. Um, yeah, it, it wasn't a World War II plane. It wasn't a World War II plane. The Hawker Fury was, but it didn't fly much. So, um, but after that, they used it as a jet trainer, um, and the Hawker, the Sea Fury was. I think it was cl close to five hundred mile an hour, not over, top speed for that plane. And then, yeah, 460. And then the new ones, the ones that they put the uh, R2800s or even bigger motors, I think they have a bigger motor in a couple of those. Those things are fast. Yeah. Yeah. And that's at low level. That's not high altitude. That's getting dreadnought with two engines in it. 
Yeah, it's got a four row, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it's got two big old engines. And it's so trippy. To go to. Yeah, it's so trippy when you get in that plane. There's four four magneto switches. Yeah, I'll have to show it. It's kind of funny. It's more than four, isn't it? No, it, it's it's two. two oh, two per motor. Two per motor. Two, okay. two magneto motor, but the thing is, it's got it on switches, not like a key. Yeah. Which I find funny. You can actually steal those planes really easily. Like our Pawnee dude, you could steal that like that. You just get in and turn There's the mags. No There's just switches, right? No, it's just switches for the mags. Yeah, yeah all, literally, starting the Pawnee. Turn the master on, give it a couple shots of prime, turn the mags on, fire it up, and go. Yeah. Is there any way for them to lock it? To lock the plane? Like the, the uh, if they cut the mag, you know, ground wire, which they're not going to do. No, I mean, it, to, do they lock the canopy or anything? They lock the hangers. Okay, never mind. So that's how they're able to do that whole show or the airplane repo. <gasps> that's Ooh. fake. That total fake shit. Totally fake. Hey, don't don't hate. It. I thought it was real. Yeah, it was. Totally I thought it was real, especially when I thought it was real up until I actually thought about it. David Collier's plane. That's I got to, uh, Oh yeah, the uh, the T thirty three. They've never had a P forty seven at the air races, I don't think. Not not at the races, no. I know it's a complicated plane to get running. That thing has a huge turbo. The whole underside of the plane is turbo and plumbing. So intercooler, yeah, turbo that year, exhaust. That, year, that huh? year they had four at Chino. Two of them couldn't fly <laughs> after the first day. Second one, one of them one of the retracts wasn't working. And then the second one, I think something got in the aileron cables because the ailerons, if you went to the left, it was like binding. I think I'll they still flew it. I think they still flew it too. I'll never forget though. I need to, I wish this is just before all the whole um, digital camera stuff. But my wife, we were in Santa Rosa. It was an air show. My wife was pregnant with my son, my oldest. Um, this is 1999. And um, there was an air show in Santa Rosa, and we were on the front line. So there were all these warbirds lined up, and we sat behind them. Um, so we were sat right behind a P-47 with the bubble canopy. It was really cool. And there were a couple other planes, um, a couple other planes there. There was the one that looked like a P-47. I forgot the name of that plane. Um, so then it came time for the warbirds. They pushed them forward. They turned them around, big ass prop facing us, huge prop, P-47 prop is huge. They pushed them out and then turned the planes towards us, which I'm like, wow, that doesn't make sense. Anyway, they turned around and faced us and then they started the planes, big ass, huge prop spinning right there in front of us. And there's no barrier. It's just a little rope. My wife and I are sitting there looking at each other like, what the hell? So they start up and then they turn and then they go off to the runway. So then it was still kind of freaky seeing the big old prop spin around. So then they do their flight. The flight was awesome. There's uh, Sea Fury there. There was P-47. There were um, P-51s, one with Allison, a couple with Merlins, um, T-6 Texans. There's a, another plane. I think it's a P-36 is what it's called. It looked like a, like a Thunderbolt, but it wasn't. Um, anyway, cool stuff. They did their flights. They flew around. They did all their stuff. Then they came in to land. And then, what do you know? Well, where the P-47 is. The P-47 comes in, and there's that big-ass prop again spinning right in front of us. This time, they came up even freaking closer. So we're like, all, we're sitting there. I'm like, my wife's pregnant. She's like, ah, uh, she's like, I'm ready to run. Are you? And we're like, yeah, if we have to. But these big old props right there, right, this huge. Everybody's just kind of like sitting there like, what the heck's going on? And then they stop it, and then they flip the plane around and push it back right where it was. But, um, and then right after that, the A-10 came diving out of the clouds and did its whole thing. It was kind of cool. But, yeah. Try having somebody walk in front of your plane. Yeah. That happened, that happened to me on Friday. Fuck oh, me. God. I was like, are you kidding me, dude? It was, I was like, Do what? you want to die? Do you want to die today? I... So I, I was flying. I didn't even tell my flight instructor this. I probably should, but um, it, it's whatever. I saw him. 
it I don't even know who it was. I didn't know if he was a pilot or something. I think he was like it was it was that group of idiots that the guy will rent an airplane from a crappy flight school and they'll stuff it with people and then they'll go into the airport restaurant. I think it was like a younger younger not a kid, but like a younger adult or something that probably had no idea anything about planes. But yeah, so I'm going flying on Friday and the plane flew twice um the past weekend, so it needed fuel. So I parked the fuel island. I'm getting gas, and this plane lands. It was a it was a uh, 172, and I start up, and all of a sudden, this this wasn't even a kid though, which is the scary part. I'm about to start taxiing, and all of a sudden, this person comes running in front of the plane, and I'm like, and I'm like sitting there, I'm like, and then I look back. There was another plane at the fuel island. I look back at them, and they're like, they their eyes were like, I'm like. Hello. And then this, that happened to the skydive pilot too. The skydive pilot like yelled in somebody's face because he started this big old turbine. Person runs right in front of the airplane. I'm like, you stupid dude. I'm yeah. like, I, think I saw them, dude. I mean, like, it, I mean, it, they had good distance. But like, if I if I wouldn't have seen them, I would have taxied right into them. Yeah. And then I would have gotten fucked. Nope. It, well, I mean, my flight instructor would have too, because it would have been yeah. like, well, why do it? It's solo. He's gonna hit a kid. The uh, what you call it? Um, there was a model. Was there was a model that ended up losing part of her, her arm from trying to run around the front. Oh of yeah, the... uh, no, it was a um, a news reporter. Was it? She ran she was around walking the around an airport at night, and I don't know how she walked into a prop. Yeah, that's terrible. I don't know how you couldn't hear that, but nerves. Yeah, it cut her arm right off. So yeah, so guys, we're up to two fifty for the uh, the Draco fund, and um, once we stop getting the donations for tonight, I will just send that directly over to Mr. RC Air Marshal. And if you add the seventy five that I added to that, that'll be even more. So it's what two fifty plus seventy five. That's three twenty five. That's three twenty five from Guniac and his people. But uh, that'll be and cool. Air Marshal has ten thirty. Cool. Y'all have raised thirteen hundred and fifty five dollars. Nice. And I think he has Wait. a little more. I think he had more. It was over eleven hundred. But cool, y'all. Thank you very much. Yeah, um Mickey B tail rotors are terrible. They will take you out. Um, that's the cool thing about Chinooks and other planes like that because there's no tail rotor to worry about so much. So, yeah, thanks for helping out, everybody. We've gotten up to 250 from donations from you guys. Add in the 75 I add. That's 325 going to RC Air Marshal. But I mean, hey, if y'all want to give more, I'm open to that. You can give directly to him, or we can uh, do the Guniac way so that we can say it's directly from the Guniac show. So um, let's see here. <laughs> yeah, Jeff. Yeah, you know what's funny is I had a similar experience that at, at like years ago at the Collings Foundation, the P fifty one started. This is Betty Jane, and you didn't feel the wake at all. And then all of a sudden, he's like a couple hundred feet away. All of a sudden, I'm like, yeah. oh, and I'm like five years old. I'm like, what the hell was that? Yeah, I, I'm when I first moved here, uh, moved back here to the Bay Area in two thousand four. Holy shit! Mm hmm. So um, when I first moved here in 2000, moved back here. How much? That's how much we've all, all made so far. Cool, guys. Oh, first moved back here in 2004. Um, the Collings Foundation came within a couple of weeks of us moving. So I was in, like, airplane heaven. Not only did I have the, uh, the, the year before we had the um, Thunderbirds, I was able to go see those guys. But then... Um, we had the Collings Foundation. They fly over for a week. 
So I was able to go see uh, the B-17, the B-25, um, the B-24. The B-24 wasn't there the first year. But anyway, the P-51, Betty Jane was the coolest because Betty Jane was flying over all the time. Um, last time they were here, they um, what? I got to sit in that thing when I was like two. My mom I sat in there with my mom. I'll have her send me the photo right now. Cool. Yeah, so then um, there was a – recently, the last couple of years – I forget the last time they were here. I think it was 2018, 2019. I have the last pictures of 909, you know, because 909 is no more. Um, have videos and pictures of that. But they also had a, uh, it was a big old Sky Raider that they had flying. I think it's crazy because it's a huge plane, but they're quiet and fast. So it was like, I wouldn't hear, I wouldn't hear it until it was over the house. The P-51, you could hear from a good 5, 10 miles away before it's even there. And I could go out and I get pictures of the P-51, uh, but then they had a cool flyover. It was a P the P-40, uh, P-51, and the C and the uh, uh, Sky Raider. They all flew in formation right over Matilda, straight down to uh, straight down to the Moffat. So it was pretty cool, but I couldn't get a picture of that. But I don't know if the Collins Foundation is going to be back. Speed fresh. I don't even. It'd be cool if he, ever, he showed up on the channel one day. So, um, according to RC Air Marshal, we still got some time, y'all. He's going to do a pre order. So, we still got time. Um, I'd like to be able to get a little bit more to give to Dave for this, um, for this, for during this show. That would be cool. Nice. Last night, or not last night, the night before. Cool. Y'all want to see some flying? Good night, Daniel Bowling. Yeah. See ya. Y'all want to see some flying of a flat nine spit? Follow me on IG. Post some flight clips, and you know. Put that stuff. Put some of that in the put. Put the links. Put the links Butter, in. Man, buttering the bread on this landing with a forty-five put crosswind. Put the link in. So that's the landing approach right there. Where's your house? My house is, um, it's further up. Okay. Basically, you walk out of my garage, make a left, walk like three or four houses that way, and it's right there. And there's an open space. Yep. It, dude, I flew over that field on Friday. Shit is huge. Nobody's freaking out. Mike Finn's there. Hey, what's up, Mike? Everybody loves it, dude. Okay. I had a guy asking me, like, what do I buy to get into it? I'm like, well, I, you know what I told him to buy was either the Apprentice or that Cub you got. But, um, nice, John Shaw. Mike, you can leave now. I'm joking, Mike. I don't think it made it in numbers. If we come back. What are you talking about? John Graham, what are you talking about? <laughs> So I like I said, guys, I didn't get to fly this weekend. I took a break. I relaxed. Um, it was a holiday weekend too, and I'm tired. I just wanted to chill. Oh, the Sea Fury, yeah. yeah there no. was the Sea Fury was only one. There was a Hawker Fury. Just the Hawker Fury was a cool one too. Not the Sea Fury, just the Hawker Fury. Um, yeah, the the landing approach is not that bad here, and it, it's a it's a great spot to fly. You if you would come and make a day out of it, come down maybe for a few hours and fly a little bit. I, I plan on it. Um, I'll have to figure out. Baby Fate would for sure be the plane, the one of the jets to come. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. See, jets are fine here. It's just the problem of. Being getting lucky in the sense of like making sure there's not anybody walking down it when right. you have to land because then they get in the way. Yeah, that's why I like flying the jet, the warbirds because like my with my warbirds I can fly my seven minute timer, but then I still have like forty percent battery left. So even if there's like somebody there, I can just loiter. Yep. Like when I fly my F four, it's like I scope it out. I'm like, okay, nobody's coming, nobody's coming, and if I hear somebody coming and I've still got like a minute left, I land because if I don't <laughs> wait, then I'll get stuck. 
Yeah. And I, I had that happen one time. I almost killed the plane. Well, it was fine. But like I landed and I turned final and my throttle was pegged. Ooh, yeah, I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. You hit the throttle and it goes, re, re, re. I hate that. That's thankfully Thelonious. My ISDT uh, smart charger, my smart discharger. I only had two batteries last weekend that I needed to discharge. That was cool. Damn. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Wobbang. This is George Watts. When you're when you hear eh, eh, it was at this moment that he knew yep. he fucked up. We got we got a couple, so I got one from Gregory Robert Kent. Greg Kent. And then okay. George Watts at another sixty. Damn. That's three we're at three ten. Three ten, yeah. baby. Three hundred and ten. Plus your seventy five. Plus my seventy five. F five. This uh pilot stuff good stuff coming in. Who is this? Pilot stuff. Where the hell are they? No, he just people just send him stuff. He's that like guy on Instagram. Yeah, uh, Hangar Fifty One. Any of those? Any of the seaplanes? They uh, most of their wings go up. They have a sea fire too, by the way. <laughs> Not a Spitfire, sea fire. Sea fire. Supermarines. Sea fire. Yeah. Big bad moose. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> his, he makes more. Uh, his his expressions are even goofier than mine. What he's got? <laughs> Did you see Bro. the one where he was driving the car in front of the car? Yeah, he was driving his car in between cars. I was like, <laughs> "What the heck is he doing?" He was laughing like crazy, hysterically. <laughs> he loves his V twelve hundred too. I'm like, oh my god. Our, the RC celebrity speed fresh. Yeah. He is very, very excited about the hobby. Oh, Greg Kent, duh, I know who you are. That guy's all the way from Australia. Sacrifornia. <laughs> um He's laughing the whole time. Greg Kent, thank you, my friend. I know who you are. I was gonna say I, I know who that I know that name. Yeah. But it's a, it's Merlin RC. Yeah, thank you, Greg. I was like, I know that name. Yeah, my name is very official on PayPal. Oh yeah, here's the, the Betty Jane photos. I started out young, y'all. How how can I well, beside the point. That's me. I'm like three in that photo. There's, <laughs> there's me and my mom sitting in the Mustang. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. We can see. Look at I'm already a fat ass, and I'm three in that photo. God, you're not three, are you? You're older than three. You're probably like five there. Nah, I'm like four or five. I'm like, fuck, I don't know. I was the average weight of a seven or eight-year-old at the age of four. <laughs> I've been a big kid all my life. Yeah, my oldest was 11.1 pounds when he was born, so. Big kids. This guy's hilarious. So, yeah, we're doing good on money. We're up to 385. Hey, be cool. All we need is 15. Yeah, yeah, there you 400. go. 400. Oh, yeah, you were pretty small. Uh, if we added 115, we'd be at 500. That would be even better. 500. Be even better, y'all. I flew my first throne, <laughs> Be even better, y'all. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna stay on because I still got 36 people. Um, <laughs> you um, see this? Y'all keep going. Yeah, he's very, very happy. He's always so happy. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, this is this is bad, or not? It's bad and good, but so I got a ride in the V25, right? But that guy, he's no more. He's dead, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know what was, he crashed in, but uh, it wasn't the. It wasn't 909, was it? No. no, it was the it was the Corsair. It was a Corsair, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. No, this isn't Mac. Mac was the guy who died in 909. There's a Corsair that went down. I think that's the guy that was flying the Corsair. That, are you are you thinking of a video like some other air race? 
No, no, I'm, it was uh, it was it wasn't and wasn't videoed at all. It was a guy faring. Uh, okay, because I know there's a video of a corsair going down, but that was Kevin Eldridge. But he no, bent. this is a guy that was um faring a plane, and something went down. Yeah, I think that was probably him. This guy posts all the time. I scrolled hella down on his Instagram page, and this was only from a couple months ago. Oh, my God. Look at him with his futaba. <laughs> yeah, he's very happy. V900 is gone. Hello, V1200. God, I don't know what it is. He loves he wanted V1200. Some, he wanted some, uh, some truck. Some, like, Shelby truck or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shelby... <sighs> Yeah. Here we me. So okay. So I never see. knew Carol Shelby actually flew B. Did was that true from the movie that he flew B twenty nines? He was a um. He was a pilot. Yeah, I love my favorite scene in the whole Ford first Ferrari movies when he's like, "Yeah, I used to be a pilot." And he like whips the B eighteen around. So then there was something he he ended up having some sort of a heart defect or something that prevented him from racing. Carol Shelby. Yeah. He lived a long time, but he just couldn't race anymore. Or health, some sort of a health condition. Yeah. Back in those days, pretty much everybody fought in the war. I mean, yeah, pretty much. What do you mean your sister, your sister, class made class you, your huh? sister don't make you land, man. What? Angelo, you're supposed to just fly, even though she says land. Just fly, man. Who said who to land? Angelo said his sister. He's flying at the farm. His sister boy, they got really scared in the first flight how fast the Avanti was and made him land with 40% battery left. <laughs> and... Oh, boy, they're going to need close to $2,100. So, wait. Ah, crap. Wait a minute. There's probably ways around that, Air Marshal. Imagine my mom. Imagine my mom ships it, and it's like twenty bucks. Well, we'll have to see. No, my mom's not. I'm not. Georgetown, Guyana. It's named Georgetown. That's cool. I'm sure I would love to see if it'd be cheaper, but I don't want to put that pressure on my mom to have to do this. No, no, no. she's already really busy as it is. Hey, it's Minnie Ray in the background. Or should I say, no, not my kids are. Much bigger than he's me. Not, not mini Ray. They're bigger than me. Young Ray, but bigger than Ray. Yeah. My children have surpassed me in size. <laughs> Especially the youngest. That's, that's, the, that's the complete opposite here, Angelo. That's how I was. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to fly small stuff and see if I get the cops calling me. Dude, I haven't. There's there's two types of people. Either they really love it or they're just, they just walk by and they say, oh, that's cool. Like nobody's, Nobody said anything bad. And it's and like the owners of the, all that land, there's like so there's that fence there, and there's like a little dirt trail that the owners of the land come up. This woman comes up, I'm like, oh, this is the end of me. And it's like, oh my god, oh my god, it's so cool. It's like I see you do. She, this is her quote. I'm seeing you do all these backflips over my property. I'm like, okay, that's good to know. That's the funny thing. That's what people didn't get about the RC air show stuff, which we might have this year too, by the way, if uh, COVID clears up. Um, but. The RC air show is funny. Right. People, people are funny. The stuff that we, when we fly RC, we we think that loops and rolls are no big deal. But people that don't know them, um, they uh, they go crazy over rolls and loops and other stuff like that. Um, the speed doesn't even really get them so much. It's just seeing do a barrel roll. You do a roll, and they're like, oh, oh, ah. yeah, I know. Little, this one, this one woman, I was flying my ultimate, and she's like, "How many rolls can I do?" And I just put it in high risk. <laughs> she's like, "Oh my god, Dave, you mean like put it in the one seventy two and fly it down there? Because that'd be hell no, brother." Nice, um, BD, Tennessee. I think I still owe you stuff. Ugh, I'm behind on giveaway. I sent I sent some giveaway stuff out over the weekend. Um, for fiery booties, I'm about two weeks. It takes about two weeks. Hey, but but no, no, the other one sits in two days. That's great. <laughs> I 
they're pre-made just sitting there on a shelf, which is ridiculous. I, when you order one, I make one for you. It's not sitting on a shelf. I actually make it. <laughs> oh, my mom says my baby boy now he's a toilet hauler. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> because I had to. Because the Home Depot. So we we got three new toilets. We got all new toilets for this house. Um, and I had to go. I had to go to Seaside to pick two of them up, but I couldn't fill. Seaside, that's my family's town. Yeah, I, I almost wanted to go say hi to uh, Manny at his hobby shop. I was like, man. Nah, yeah, he's right there on um, on he, Broad, Broadway. Broadway. Broadway, yeah. I almost wanted to go say hi, but it already did. It took me over an hour to get this. I'm like, I'm just gonna go home. The drive there is interesting. It goes to one one to one on one. To one fifty six or one fifty six. No, no, one to one fifty six to one hundred one, then back on one fifty six. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, interesting drive. Yeah, this the only thing that sucks about the summertime here is the sea breeze. So like, I get to fly in the morning, and anything after twelve, it's like, okay, I'm done. It gets really windy. Hey, uh, Sean Lindsay, I did mention it a couple of times, but I'll mention it again, guys. Sean Lindsay is oh. the president of the Oakdale Club. Um, but we're uh, and Alan Gentry flies there too. We, we're having we're having a uh, a jet fly in on April seventeenth at the Oakdale Club. RC Unlimited is what they're called, and uh, they are going to have a jet meet. So it's going to be for turbines, anything jet, basically. Um, they're asking that you bring a uh, fire extinguisher with you, and there's a minimal fee. But it's totally worth it. It's a very pretty. Oh, is it, is it only turbine? Or no, it's everything. It's everything. But um, there's this so uh, saying turbines does, can come does, too. Does that mean I can plug my spit fly up? Oh, probably not. I could put. I could just glue an EDF on the bottom and save the jet. Yeah. So I'll have a couple of my jets out there. The weather is going to be perfect. The uh, there's a lake behind. You um, know what? I would love to go. There's bald eagles. There's raptors. There's hawks. There's all that cool stuff out there. See, I would love to go to this event. The only problem is, if you go to an event with an EDF that supports turbines, good luck getting the fly. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering about. It's, I think it's. I know if I was if I was to go, I would just bring one plane. It would probably be F four. I probably wouldn't even fly. If, but if I got a chance, I would. Yeah, I'm gonna show up before day, so <laughs> I want to get my flying in before. Yes, George Watts. Pilots are supposed to have a uh, are supposed to have one anyway. But they're just saying anybody coming, make sure to have. Yeah. You. And it, if I do go, I'm gonna get there at the butt crack of dawn, so I can get. If I do want to fly, I can fly before all the turbine guys show up. And I think they're allowing camping and other stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna show up before. Too much echo? I'm gonna show up before day. I'm gonna show up, set up, get some flying in before the sun comes up, or as the sun's coming up. It's oh, a beautiful, yeah. it's a beautiful venue, guys. It's gorgeous. Uh, that's why I like it out there. It's ninety miles for me, but <laughs> I, I show up and I stay there the whole day from sunup to sundown. That'll be me too. And I have a chair. I sit out there and chill and relax, hang out with friends. So yeah. Oh, it's ninety miles. It's only seventy-eight miles for me. So it's closer to you for you. It would take me over two hours to get there, though. How so? Um, well, I'm, I'm showing it right now, which is probably not realistic because I bet you like Altamont Pass or that way it's probably destroyed right you now. You wouldn't even touch Altamont. Well, I mean like, yeah, yeah. You yeah. take, um, oh, yeah, it's, 152. it's 152 to 5. Yeah. 152 to 5. It's the oh, hey, you're welcome, John Shaw. 17th, you said? Yeah, April 17th. That's basically two weeks from Saturday. Okay. I'll probably end up going. Do you have to register online or something? Um, hey, Sean, do you have a link to your page with any of that stuff? If you do, just post it in there. Uh, let me see, Sean. Let's see. I'll make sure that you, you're a moderator so that it'll work. Go ahead and post that in there. If, if Sean, if you're still there, if you could get a link and post it, that would be great. No. Again, it'll be a Saturday. Um, you know what I should do? No, no, no way that's gonna happen. Unless I want my mom. 
Okay, so BD Tennessee, Fire Green, I'm thinking the 12 blade FMS in runner. Yeah. Yes, they do. Um, no, Roy. Haven't. The 12 blade FMS. Which one? Which size? Is it the 80? Because the FMS is 32 and the free wing is 36. I make them all, though. I'm actually going to go pick up some new um, adapters right after the show from my from my friend Chris Ponciano. Dave Tech does the 3D printing for me. Dave Tech. Yeah, he's a Tesla tech. Works at Tesla. Oh, he does. Mm -hmm. He's a Tesla boy. <laughs> Dude, the spit is big. So um, the ninety millimeter, it's a different setup. If it's the if it's the in runner, it's going to be forty millimeter. There's the spit uh, next to the focal. The spit's got a fat wing. It's a fat wing. I don't know if the wing is scale. I think it's a little thicker than scale. Well, the fly's amazing. <laughs> the twenty seven with Dexter Tucker is boy. Is that Elsie? No, thank you. If, if that's Fahrenheit, I feel bad for you, buddy. But if that's Celsius, maybe not so much. <clears throat> Stop drinking that stuff. It's good, though, dude. It's terrible. It's fake. You're fake. It's fake. Your product's a fake way. They're actually mass produced in a factory in China and sold yeah, by Arctic it's Capital. Mass produced by these fat fingers. How's that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was about to pull out one of the shattered ones, but it was just from the MiG seventeen. You know what, Alan Gentry? I was about to, I was about to say that I should like, I should, I should arrange a thing and I should fly over. We should, uh, fly over the field. Not populated. I can go five hundred feet. Okay, guys, there you go. There's the uh, there's the info. Totally worth it. That place is gorgeous. Um, oh, it's, yeah, put, it this, put it this way: it's ninety miles away from me. And I try to make it out there at least three, four times a year because, and I'm a member. It's it's gorgeous. Um, last time I was there, there were three bald eagles flying around. So it's just a really cool oh, so place. the event starts at eight. I'll get there at sunrise and I'll fly before the event starts. I'm gonna show up at five fifteen. I'll beat you. Probably will. I'll see you there. I'll be there at four thirty in the morning. <laughs> I, I want to be there early, so because I want to be able to get to fly. Rachel's and it's, it's so nice. What? what? Five fifteen though, dude. Sunrise isn't for like another hour after that. Two hours. You got to set up, but you got to realize just because the sun's not up doesn't mean it's not bright enough to fly. You want to fly? In the, you want to fly in the dark? I got a plane. I got a couple planes. I can. I'd like to. If I can. I want to get my F fifteen running. You know what, Alan Gentry? I might take you up on that. I can't fly the plane solo, though. I'll have to go with my mom. Unless, unless it might not happen because I might try to get my glider check right done before then. If I can do one of my solo cross countries, like a, do a cross country with my instructor, then do a solo cross country, she might sign me off to do it solo. So... If, if I can get all that done by the 17th, so if I can go solo cross country, dude, I might arrange that. I might buzz the place, too. That'd be kind of fun. Buzz the airport. Or buzz the RC field. No, yeah, Oakdale's cool. Let me pull up a... Uh, I buzzed uh, Crows with my mom. That was fun. Let me pull up one of the videos I did from Oakdale. Because it is a really pretty place. Oh, 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 oh. Let's see if that's hey, pal. Let's now, see, let's see another burner order request. request. No, yeah, it's a burner request. <laughs> Who would have known? Yeah, I know. Clear okay. five, huh? So oh. let's find a video from Oakdale. <laughs> yeah, right there, Marshall. Hmm? Let me show you something. 
Oh, my mom has my car keys. I was going to say, I'll pull up the sectional. There's a, a line on in the ocean. It's the U.S. like border restricted line. You go past that line, you just got to keep going. You ain't coming back unless, you know, unless you want to get jumped by some border patrol plane. Some freaking, some fucking American made shit. That movie's actually kind of funny. The American made. The piloting scenes in that movie actually aren't, um, actually aren't bad. I should, Sean. Mm-hmm. I'll, uh, I don't know. If, it'll probably won't happen. I probably won't. If I'm going to be busy with taking my glider check, right, I'm probably not going to be able to do, get signed off for a solo cross country. Because I don't have my license yet. I'm just flying on my student pilot certificate under my, my instructor's supervision in the sense of, like, I have my own plane, but if I want to go fly, I still have to text my instructor, like, exactly what I'm going to do. Like, when I flew on Friday, when I flew to the house, I text her, I'm like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, at this altitude, do this. And she has to okay it. If she doesn't okay it, I can't do it. Because if I mess up, of course, it's part, it's my fault. But the thing is, like, it, it goes on her, too, because... Technically, she's the one that let me fly by myself. So it's like, you know, yeah, the airport's not far. I know that. So, um, guys, I just posted a link to a, a quick video. <laughs> I'm Mickey B. You fly in the Hawk at uh, at the at the Oakdale Field. Cool field, very cool field. Does Pablo Escobar live near Linden? Sure, sure Pablo Escobar could hook you up with some drug plane to stick the Draco on. A two ten. <laughs> Loaded to the brim. Two ten or three ten? They like three. Angelo messaged me. He says he can't figure out how to order a fiery booty. Because you got to talk to me, fool. <laughs> just to just text me, I'll deal with it. <laughs> you can't like, order it through the site. Um, I I don't have a store there, and I think I saw you say that. Yeah, how do I order? Um, just talk to me. I'll help you out. Um, I do the orders direct because I don't want a store where I, people click buy, 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 and then next thing you know, I can't do it. So. <laughs> can you play dominoes with Jesus Christ at Last Supper? Jesus Christ Superstar. Oh yeah, that's a cool. That's a cool video too because of the the background for that day. Oh okay, nice Sean Lindsay. Linden. Or uh, Minden. I had to avoid. I had to avoid puddles that day. So yeah, check out the video, guys. That, that's kind of cool. It was a cool day. Yeah. Uh, I or should... maybe I can show it here on the page. While I'm, I think I can do that. I'm gonna do that. Just have to put it in full screen. Okay, so. No, not that one. That one. There we go. So then I'll make it full screen. I can't seriously do that though. What? I wish I if I can get signed off to do my solo cross country and go to fly fly over Oakdale, the RC field, and land at the airport and then Alan Gentry come pick me up. That'd be kind of fun. Okay, so I'm gonna share screen show with the uh Wouldn't that be fun though? The Oakdale. See if this was doing. back, if this was back in the '80s, where the where the FAA wasn't really a thing, well, it was a thing, but like you know, not like today. I would just land at the Oakdale Field. I could do it. Yeah, but it's not. Is it long enough? Is it a long enough runway? Oh hell yeah, dude! If the wind, like I know the wind always goes right down the runway there. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Mm-hmm. When I was flying on Friday, the wind was blowing like close to twenty knots right down the runway. I was up in like two hundred feet. I with me in the plane by myself with that much wind. The vertical speed indicator was just pegged. It was pegged at like 1,200 feet a minute. Oh, yeah. Puddle day. To Miss Hawk. This is – let me go back to take off. You should put my so – we had, we had to dodge puddles that day. It was kind of cool. It was a really pretty day, though. I don't know if you guys can hear. Can you hear or no? Barely. Hey, put my IG page up on here because people always ask me, how do I see your flights, Nate? Like, oh, God, the amount of messages I get, you post all these pictures, but let's see it fly. So that's a cool field. I mean, just take a look at the field. 
I think they're adding a couple, a little bit more lighting in there, but it's really pretty out there. I think this was in January last year. I don't remember. This is before COVID started. What does that have to do with anything? COVID. So COVID. we were actually able to enjoy ourselves and be normal without having to worry about anything else. COVID. Yes, anyway, gorgeous field. Pretty place. Like this guy. What is he? Yeah. Do you have a YouTube channel? No. I don't feel like I don't feel the need for him, but we want to see your flight. Yeah, I mean, Am I logged in? No, I'm not logged in. Oh my god, dude. Uh, actually, I'm not going to say anything because I don't know if he's watching or not. I'm going to just keep quiet. So anyway, y'all, so we're up to 385. If there, or if there aren't any extra donations for today, Joe Valdez, what's happening? What are you laughing at? Nothing. Um, <laughs> I missed out on the chat. I don't see what's being said. Yeah, Jelonius just text me. I'll help you out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look what I just sent you on Instagram. <laughs> so Sean Lindsay, I I got a good in RC around that time. Let's see, ninety I didn't get good in RC till about ninety two, ninety three. But I've been flying for almost 10 years. Ago. Read the caption and watch the video. About 10 years for a while. Um, what the hell are you saying to me, boy? <laughs> oh, God. You get it? <laughs> How it feels like. Oh, God, poor guy. Dude, it was like co-op texting and driving, and he got into an accident. Like these Oops. people that get us in trouble for this crap, and then look at them go. Fucking yeah. texting and driving. Oops. Better be lucky. His uh, I bet you he was long gone. Look, look at all the airbags that went off. Poor guy. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> All right, yeah, guys, I'm pretty much going to call it a night here too and then I'll hand off hand off that money to Mr. RC Air Marshal. But yeah, I got to go pick up some supplies. So, um been a good show. Thank you all for hanging out. Thanks for helping out, Mr. Uh, Linden. 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 I don't know. Pass over that money to Mr. RC Air Marshal right now. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. I don't know if I should send you this one. Should I send you this one? What? Uh, I don't know if I should send you this one. If you If you have to think about it, you probably shouldn't. I mean, it's not like it's a bad thing for you. Like, I, it's funny. Okay, I gotta send it. It's it's hilarious. Five thousand dollars a year. My God. <laughs> Let's see what this is. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh God! Seriously. <laughs> but you see what it says on the bottom? False, False information. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Whoops. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I'm going to get going, but thank you guys for hanging out. Um, I'm going to pass off that money to Mr. RC Air Marshal. Yeah. Um, but, um, thank you guys for hanging. Uh, if possible, I will do a stream from the field. You fly on I plan to. Okay. I'll probably be out there if the weather's good. I got my run cam, so I'm going to be doing videos again, y'all. Finally. <laughs> Getting back to the craziness. So, um, me and Michael act extra stupid, although he might still be in Arizona. I think he is. 
No, he, he no, he's there right now. I'm saying he might still be there. I'll still be there then. Um, anyway, thank you guys for hanging out. Yeah, the wind is perfect. On. Wind's right out of the west. Let's hope it stays that way. Night, everybody. Thanks for hanging out, Nate. Kept everything all entertaining. Yeah, almost for almost four hundred. Not quite. So. Yeah. All right. We will talk to y'all later. See you, peeps. See you.